sing from your diaphragm. How much does a voice teacher really need to know about anatomy in order to train it effectively? Being conversant in vocal anatomy often does not translate to the ability to help singers train their vocal anatomy, which is essentially the point of voice lessons. What we really need to know about anatomy is one, whether we can move our own anatomy in the direction that we want to, as far as we want to or not, and two, if we can't, there is a reason, and that reason has to do with range of motion. You don't need to know what and where your cricothyroid muscles are in order to sense that you can't sing as high or low as you would like to. You don't need to know how your diaphragm works in order to detect the possibility of breathing more expansively than you presently can. You don't even need to know why the imperative sing from your diaphragm makes zero biomechanical sense. All you really need is the ability to feel how things are moving, where they are getting stuck, and the concept that the solution involves expanding the range of motion of the stuck structures. That's it. That's all you really need to know about anatomy.